Well, it's been four months since we moved to Tioga, North Dakota, and I think it's about time that we have a, an update for our family and for our church family. Um, as most of you know, uh, in August we had our fifth child, Zachary, and he was born with Down syndrome and with a canal defect in his heart, and, and many of you know that. We knew that uh, coming into this situation. We're extremely thankful for the lead time uh, that, that came with that so we could be prepared for what was going to come with that. And, and he was born and, and was able to stay in Bismarck with Becca over the course of two months with a lot of uh, back and forth by Becca and the kids and just a, a, a lot of making things work. And, uh, and, and then Zachary was able to come home. And it didn't last as long as we would have liked because then he contracted RSV and then it was down in Bismarck and then um, was able to recover from that. And, and we really appreciate the prayers all along the way, um, especially the, the prayers when he was dealing with that RSV and, and the fact that he was able to recover without needing to be intubated was a, a marvelous miracle indeed. And so he's been home with us and we've been very grateful for that, even though we're nervously watching the monitor. We're, we're grateful to have him home and grateful for the fact that two weeks from tomorrow on the 7th of December, he'll finally have his big day at the surgery at Mayo Rochester to make the repairs to his heart. And so beginning the 1st of December, I'll be taking a leave of absence from Zion Free Lutheran Church to look after the kiddos and the family as we go back to Minnesota for a while and uh, get settled in for surgery and deal with the immediate recovery and come back. And and uh, uh, I'm taking a, a leave for the entire month of December because it's just much cleaner for, for administration on the church front and uh, necessary to make sure there's enough elbow room for the unexpected as we deal with this. But I am planning to see uh, all of you in our Zion Free Lutheran Church family for Christmas. Uh, we're planning to be back for that, um, certainly, but just in case it doesn't happen, Merry Christmas. <laughs> um, and, and I'm very grateful for the men in the congregation, for the gals as well, that have really stepped up to serve. We have so many people that serve very sacrificially uh, to keep ministry going. And, and we'll be enjoying a lot of uh, men sharing the word over the course of the uh, uh, over the course of December, and that's going to be a huge blessing for the congregation. Certainly, you know it's Thanksgiving this week, and and uh, I, I look to uh, Psalm one twenty one verse one through two. It says, "I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made." heaven and earth. And we get kind of stuck in our own circumstance. We look at our shoes when things kind of get tough. Many of you have probably been there. And God calls us to look up and to keep our eyes on the horizon and see how the future is really held in his hands. And we've been a, a little bit tested in that. And, and uh, I just want to say how tremendously appreciative and humbled we are by the overwhelming tremendous support and encouragement and love and prayers that have been from this church family. Thank you so much to to our friends that are, uh, uh, whether it's back in Minnesota or elsewhere, who have been so encouraging and faithful to pray for us. Thank you to this community and to complete strangers who've been reaching out in their own ways and encouraging us. Uh, thank you for that. It has been um, quite an experience, just um, the, the sheer number of people that have been uh, uh, reaching out and letting us know that they're praying for us, concerned for what's going on with Zachary and for our family. And, uh, and just thank you so much for, for that encouragement. We're, we're so glad that you know, we're here at Zion Free Lutheran Church four months in and, uh, and you know, going back to Minnesota, we're definitely gonna feel like we're, we're gonna be itchy to get back home. And um, thank you for that, thank you for that. Please continue to pray for Zachary. And if, uh, if you miss me for Thanksgiving, uh, if you miss me for Christmas, have a, a blessed Thanksgiving and, and may God bless your Christmas. And as we look to 2023, uh, what an exciting thing, you know, to be able to kind of hit sort of a new beginning with Zachary and it'll be a little bit of a, a fresh start for us as a family. And, and I'm excited too that it'll be a fresh start for, for Zion as well. We've done a lot of things in the last few months to kind of get a footing for some things for next year and, and I'm really excited for that and I'm so grateful to the leadership here in the church their their determination to serve and serve well um, makes the load a lot lighter so thank you so much we appreciate you we love you happy Thanksgiving and yeah just in case Merry Christmas <laughs>